What's going on guys, this is Awareis back with another tutorial of Autodesk Revit Essential Training. In this video I'm going to discuss a constraint. So I'm going to go and zoom into my this room and now let's have a look at the dimension of the door from this wall to the door. So I've got 0 0.16 inch, so I'm going to change this by clicking here and I'm going to type 0 space 4.5 enter. So now the door is 4.5 inch from this wall so now I'm gonna make this door as a constraint so even when I move my wall the door will stay the same dimension so I'm gonna click on this icon here which will make my temporary dimension to permanent dimension so I'm just gonna click here and now if I deselect my door now as you can see that the dimension stays on so now it is the permanent dimension so when I select the dimension now I get this lock icon down at the dimension so I'm gonna lock this once I lock this and let's say I move my wall I'm just gonna move my wall and now as you can see that while I'm moving my wall the door moves with the wall so now it's locked to that wall that's how you can just lock any object to other objects so I'm just gonna delete that now I'm gonna zoom into this room now and I've got a window here right so if I click on it I get the dimension it's 2 feet from this wall and 12 feet 9 inch 1 by 4 from this wall so I want to make that window in the center so what I can do is I can select this align command and now if I hover over my cursor to this wall and I press tab to highlight the corner of the wall and I start my command and now I hover over my cursor to this wall and I press tab again and again until it highlights that wall so the corner of the wall so I click here and as you can see that I get my permanent dimension which is 20 feet so I'm just gonna zoom into window now to show you guys if I take my cursor closer to window it will highlight the middle part it will highlight the right and left part as well so I'm just gonna because I'm gonna try equally center this window in the room so I'm gonna click on this highlighted line in the window I'm gonna click here and now I get two dimensions so I can see that it's from 4 feet 6 inch from this wall to this wall so I'm gonna click here and now I'm gonna deselect my command and now these are the permanent dimensions alright so I'm gonna click on a dimension I will select my dimension now and now as you can see that I get this EQ sign so basically what it does it toggles dimension equality so i'm gonna click on it and now my window is equally centered in the room so let's say i've got equally centered now i'm gonna click on eq sign again and as you can see that the dimensions 10 feet on the both side of the window so i'm gonna select on it and i'm gonna keep the equal sign on and now it's locked to that equally so i'm gonna select this wall I'm gonna try moving this wall and now if you can see that not even wall moving the so window stays equally in the rooms I'm gonna select this dimension and now I'm gonna click on EQ sign and now as you can see that the dimensions are seven feet on the both sides so now we see that dimension in a value so I've got if I select that if I select this dimension as you can see that the equal sign is off right now so I'm just gonna turn it off now and if I move my wall it's not gonna be equal now so I'm gonna select that I'm gonna turn on my EQ sign and now this is basically EQ you don't see any dimension here so if I select here and you want this to show a value of the dimension so in the properties you can change that as you can see that equality displays equality text so I can change that to value and now if I look here in my drawing I've got the values now so it's still locked to the equality but it will show the dimension instead of EQ sign so this is how you can do that so I'm just gonna delete that now so let's have a look at the align command now I'm gonna select this window and now what I'm gonna do I wanna align this window to this window so let's say I'll select that window and I'm gonna select my align command and now first I save my project and now what is ask, gonna ask me select the line a reference for alignment so I'm gonna select that middle line in the window and now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna select this middle line and now as you can see that it's been aligned exactly with that window and there's a lock sign appear now so if I 
click on lock sign now this window is locked to that window alignment so I'm gonna press escape to exit the command if I move my wall now as you can see that the window moves with that window this is how you can align the objects with the other objects this is very useful and I will do a whole video on annotation which is aligned linear angular we can lock those dimension and we can use those dimension to make a permanent dimension alright guys thanks for watching and the next video is going to be about linking AutoCAD DWG file to your Revit and bringing objects from AutoCAD to Revit and exporting objects from Revit to AutoCAD alright thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys in the next video and be sure to subscribe and like, share and comment. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.